It's time for Health Futures with Cypress Home Care Solutions, Bob Roth. This is Arizona's only show dedicated to providing you with expert advice on how to live a longer, healthier, and happier life. To learn more, call 602-264-8009. That's 602-264-8009. Now, here's your host, Bob Roth. Good afternoon. You're listening to Health Futures, taking stock in you, and I'm your host, Bob Roth, and it must be Friday. Indeed it is. It is the first Friday of July. We're coming at you live from the Scottsdale Air Park. It is July the 6th, and if you're just tuning in for the very first time, Health Futures is a show about how our older adult population can live a healthier, happier life. And how do they do that? They do that by me bringing extraordinary guests to the show. And it's hard to believe I've been coming at you with Health Futures for the last five years. And we put together over 200 shows. And if you want to hear any of the previous shows, please go out to our website at cypresshomecare.com. Click on the media button up on the top right. Drop down, third one down is the radio show. You can catch this show here today. And you can catch about 200 others. So I know our listening audience knows that my family, 25 years ago, started a home care company. And our purpose of starting a home care company was to enable our older adult population to live a healthier, happier life at home. You know, one of the things that we did, one of the reasons behind starting this home care company was we wanted to give that family caregiver the respite. We knew that they truly were the unsung heroes. They were the ones that making the ultimate sacrifice. And I've shared it here on the show. The numbers are startling when you see that caregivers predecease care recipients when it comes to family care. So I am privileged to be able to do this. We serve so many here in our county and our state. And the numbers go into the thousands over the 25 years. And along the way, I meet some really interesting people. And the person that's across from me is somebody that is more than interesting. She is, as I said earlier, extraordinary. I probably met her 12 years ago, maybe 13 years ago. She'll she'll fine-tune that, but I know it was more than 10 years ago. And without further ado, I want to introduce you to Jamie Flesher. She is with the Electronic Caregiver. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much, Bob. I'm delighted to be here. And yes, we have been friends and colleagues for the last 11 years since I've been in business. So Jamie has a home care company, and we worked together, and we still work together. And, you know, uh, Jamie is a nurse, and I will get more into it the second segment, talking about your background. But the cool thing about you, Jamie, is that I've always admired you because you've been on the cutting edge. And when I say cutting edge, it wasn't enough that you had a home care company, but you wanted to take it even further and... You saw there was a need to transition very, very sick people back into the home setting, and you started another company where you helped with transitionary care. And to me, I mean, you were kind of revolutionary here in our community. Nobody was doing any of that. And now you are on to this electronic caregiver. And, you know, I've said it here on the show, our industry needs disruption. We are struggling to find enough caregivers, and we will continue to struggle to find caregivers because the numbers don't lie. The number of available caregivers for every person that is infirm or elderly that needs care it continues to shrink. So we have to rely on innovation and tech. And now you are, you're, you're one of those providers. You're, you're helping us with the care delivery by using innovation. So Dang talk to, talk to us about this. Talk to me about it. Tell me why why the electronic caregiver? Why going away from transitionary care and home care? Not that you've gone away from home care, but you still believe in home care. But you see this as a vertical that you need to be involved in, and our community needs to adopt. Oh my goodness, absolutely, Bob. I mean, home care is is here to stay, but we need help. I have been in the healthcare field for over thirty four years. I started out as a caregiver back when I was 18 years old, studying to become a nurse and wanted to get my feet wet. And so I started out as a caregiver, working for a home health company and went on to become a nurse and 
Here I am. That was back in the 80s. I, I don't understand because you look like you're 30 years old. So 34 <laughs> years in the business, there's no way. Oh, you are way too kind. <laughs> Um, but I love I love home care. That is where my heart has always been um, because I love taking care of people in the home because that's where their heart is. Right. And but you know what I'm finding is that we are having a shortage in caregivers, and that is a nationwide crisis. And that's even going to get worse because mm-hmm. our aging population is growing. But there's less people getting into the healthcare, and especially in caregiving. So shortage in caregivers, shortage in nurses, doctors, you name it. Um, so we, we need a disruptor, like you said. You, we need assistance. We need to embrace technology um, to help us with this getting in at least enough help in the home. Nothing will ever take hands-on loving care um, from a health care provider, but when you are short on caregivers, we need to look at other options to give people. I myself got started with the electronic caregiver about um, three, four months ago. It's only been three or four months? Yeah, yeah. It's amazing what you've done here in just such a short time. Well, how I got started was my mom, my 80-year-old mother, who is still active. I mean, she goes and work out twice, three, maybe every day sometimes um, at the at the uh, EOS Fitness. Got it. And she goes and does Tai Chi, and she wants to stay active because she knows it's, it's, it's healthy for her. But she had also fallen twice because she has scoliosis. And I worry about her, as a lot of people do when they have aging parents who live alone in the home. And I would stay awake at night thinking, gosh, what if something happens to my mom and I'm, and she's like left on the floor for hours. Right. You both, you and I both, we've heard those horror stories well, I went and th- sometimes for days. I went through it with my own mom. I, you know, my mom lived 20 minutes away and when I couldn't get her to answer the phone or respond to back then, it was instant messaging. I would drive over the house thinking I was going to find her on the floor. So it's yes, a scary thought. It is very scary. So I I started searching to see what what is out there, and I'm very very particular on what I get my mom involved with. In. And um, but one day a friend of mine, a colleague uh, who uh, is a podiatrist over in California, called me up. Same thing happened to his mom. She had fallen and she was I think left for a couple hours without help. So he got her on to a premier system by the electronic caregiver and was telling me about that. And so I of, of course sparked my interest right away and um, he got me connected with the CEO of the company because I wanted I had questions to ask and I wanted to find out all about the company. So he invited me to come to the headquarter, which is in New Las Cruces, New Mexico. So I flew there. He gave me the tour. We're, we're talking about Anthony Dorman. To- yes, Tony, Tony Dorman, the and, CEO of yeah. Electronic Caregiver. And he's a very, uh, very charismatic, outspoken individual and is also on this mission that you are on. And I'm sure once he met you, he was just blown away. I was blown away <laughs> after I, I know you. saw what yeah. he is doing with the electronic caregiver. That was a no-brainer. I wanted to get involved because that is the answer that I've been looking for and the solution that we need. So as we get ready to wind down our first segment, uh, I want to tee up that second segment to really talk about the electronic caregiver, what it is, and really what is Tony Dorman's vision on where he wants to take this because it is – going to revolutionize the way care is being delivered and we need that we need disruptors we need the electronic caregivers of the world you've been listening to health futures taking stock and you i've got jamie flesher here in the studio from the electronic caregiver stick around we're going to learn more about it in the second segment we'll be right back Now back to Health Futures, taking stock in you. If you have questions about your own or your loved one's future health care, call 602-264-8009. Now, here's your host, Cypress Home Care Solutions, Bob Roth. Welcome back. 
You're listening to Health Futures, taking stock in you. I'm your host, Bob Roth, and we are already in our second segment. And if you're just tuning in, I've got Jamie Flesher here in the studio. She's with the Electronic Caregiver. If you missed the first segment, you can catch it right up on our website at cypresshomecare.com. Click on the media button, drop down button to number three is the radio show. And you can catch the first segment and 200 other shows that we've been bringing you for the last five years. So just jumping back into this, Jamie, and, you know, you're very modest about your background. And, yes, 34 years, I mean, if you only saw Jamie, she looks like she's 34 years old. So I know she said she started at 18. You can figure out the math. But truly, you've been at it a long time, and you've been just more than a nurse. I mean, I, you totally glossed over the fact that you worked in a law practice, a prestigious law practice here in town, and then went into your own home care business. And, you know, Jamie and her husband own this company called Legacy Home Care, and these guys are disruptors in their own right. They're delivering care. They're not doing it with innovation. They're doing it with a lot of TLC. And, you know, I mentioned to you the transitionary care Piece. And, you know, Jamie was on the, and still is, on the forefront of what is shaping and changing our lives daily. And that is healthcare. Healthcare is moving at such a rapid rate. And, you know, as we talked about innovation and technology, you know, we're seeing a lot of that in medicine. And we're seeing that with Da Vinci. And we're seeing that with, you know, a lot of pharmacology that's happening. But, you know, nothing really has happened much in the caregiving space. And, until really now, and I've talked about Aging 2.0, and Aging 2.0 is a is a uh, platform that's born out of the Silicon Valley, and it's an aggregator of where tech and innovation come together. And, um, you know, very rarely have I come across a company that's right here in our backyard. And, yes, Las Cruces is where they're based. It's not that far from where we are, and Arizona is a market that they're developing, and they've got an incredible development person in Jamie. So, Jamie, I want you to take our listening audience through what is the electronic caregiver. You know, it's more than these pendants that many have seen, I'm, and I'm going back to the old, old school television commercials, Help I Fallen and Pushing the Button. It's so much more than that. And, Jamie, more than anything, our listening audience here at Money Radio is usually the adult child it is usually somebody that has, one, the ability to afford this because this is very affordable, um, but also probably knows somebody, whether it be a family member, neighbor, friend, or colleague, work colleague, that is put in the position of being a caregiver and could benefit from this. So I am turning the mic over to you. Please tell us about the electronic caregiver. Oh, thank you so much, Bob. I really appreciate the opportunity to share. You know, I've gotten into healthcare because I do want to care for people and the things that I am able to do as a, a nurse and as a geriatric care manager is because I see the need out there. And um and you hear you hear stories, you hear those horror stories of people who, who have fallen and they've they've gone without help for hours or even days and that really has affected their um sometimes their health. Um, it just goes down the tube um, where they they lose years of their life because they were left on the floor and the complications that come from that. And we, I mean, that's preventable. We can help that. If people would just um, learn about the medical devices that are out there that can help get them expedited care, put their pride aside and, you know, if you are a fall risk, if you have a history of falls, if you have medical conditions um, that puts you in a risk to get expedited help um, and, and having to have to call for emergency. You, um, so the first, the first device that I want to talk about is the Premier system okay. that they have. And that's a home and mobile medical device that a person can wear either on their wrist or as a neck, pen, neck pendant, and it comes with a handheld device that has blue, uh, has GPS um, already built into it. So you don't need a landline, you don't need to have internet access. It's all inclusive, so, and it works in the home as well as away from home. And you can uh, push the button to be able to talk to an, an emergency medical technologist. Or if you have um, 
a, a system uh, where you can also get a doctor on the line as well um, to call for a doctor and be able to talk to a doctor for any medical concern or emergencies. And what I really, really like that sets this, this system apart that I love the most is it comes with a family caregiver app. And, you know, early I talked about how I am a family caregiver for my mom, and I want to be able to stay connected to her. And the app allows me to stay connected to her by, um, you know, sending her a message like, Mom, don't forget to take your morning meds. Don't for, you know, it's time to take your, your evening meds. Or you have a doctor's appointment today. And or I can... I can record a loving message. Mom, I just want you to know that I love you and I'm thinking about you wow. and be able to send that message off right away. Or I can send those medication reminder messages to my mom and she's hearing my voice reminding her to take a med. And I can schedule it for every day of the week at a certain time of the day. And she gets it on her little handheld device. So you don't have to do it live. You can schedule it, yes. record it. You know, I, I want our listening audience to know that if you go to the electroniccaregiver.com, you'll see the pendant and you'll also see the, the device that Jamie's talking about. It's a very, very small device and it is a connected device and it gives you the ability to be connected even beyond the confines of your home. And, and when I talked about the help I've fallen, there are these PERS and they call them personal emergency response systems that afford you that opportunity to push this button and do that, but it only works inside the confine of the home. It's like 900 feet, and then you're done. But, I mean, this is with you everywhere. So you go to religious services, you go out to dinner, you go to the movies. These reminders of this this connectivity follows you, right, Jamie? Yes, absolutely. And in and around your home, so you've got the the wearable device and you have the handheld device. When you go out, you need to have the handheld device with you because it's got the GPS. But at home, it can just sit on the little cradle and it covers up to 450 feet around the parameters of your home. So if you go out in the backyard and you happen to fall, you can push the button and it works. Uh, You can go to the mailbox, which it happened to my mom a couple weeks after I got her the premier system and she was wearing it. She walks to the mailbox and boom, she goes down, she falls. And she was like, I was so glad I have my button. I mean, she was fine. Thank goodness she was able to get up and make it back into the house. But if she was really hurt, she could have pressed that button and get expedited help right away. You know, it's interesting too, is, you know, you're, you're talking about the different packages and you talk about the premier package and you shared the ability to have, uh, you know, doctor support, and that is what you guys refer to as the pocket MD, twenty four seven, and that's invaluable, especially for older adults. And Absolutely. You hear the music. We're all, we're almost at halftime, so I want to get into that, and then some of the other things that Electronic Caregiver is doing. That uh, Tony Dorman is a very charismatic guy, and he is really on the leading edge, and and I know why you've bought this hook, line, and sinker because this is innovative. So please stick around. You've been listening to Health Futures Taking Stock. And you, I've got Jamie Flesher from the Electronic Caregiver here in the studio. It's halftime here at Health Futures. Stick around. We'll be right back. Now back to Health Futures. Taking stock in you. If you have questions about your own or your loved one's future health care, call 602-264-8009. Now, here's your host, Cypress Home Care Solutions, Bob Roth. Welcome back. You're listening to Health Futures, taking stock in you. And Wes, thank you for a little America. You know, uh, we are in the desert with no rain, and I have lost track how many days it's been, Jamie. Uh, it's been Too like many. forever. And if you're just tuning in, we're not the weather station. We're Health <laughs> Futures, and we are taking stock in you. And how are we doing that? We're bringing this extraordinary guest here on the show, Jamie Flesher, with the Electronic Caregiver. We are in segment number three. If you missed the first two, catch them up on our website at cypresshomecare.com. 
Click on the media button on the top, and the third button down is the radio show. So, Jamie, we were talking about the electronic caregiver. And we wrapped up the second segment. I found that really cool about this pocket MD. So tell me what that means. Is that connected to that device? And if our listening audience wants to see that device, it's up on the electroniccaregiver.com. Go check that out. But is are they able to get a pocket? Are they able to get a doctor through that? Yes, wow. absolutely. Yes. It's one of the premier series, uh, one, where it includes Pocket MD, where you can have access to a physician 24-7. And you can call for medical concerns um, as well as for, like, emergency situations um, and be able to talk to a doctor or an, or an EMT. So I want our listening audience to know this. And, you know, Jamie knows this because she's been in the business, I still can't believe, 34 years. But she says at 34, I'm going to take her word for it. <laughs> I'm not going to question it, but I will tell you that we as providers of care to our elderly adult population, it is really difficult, especially for our older adults, the ones that are in their 90s and 100s, and getting them to go to the doctor or go to the ER is, it's a it's a big, big event, and it's exhausting, and then who knows what you're going to come in contact with, especially in a doctor's practice, you know, it could be influenza season. It could be a number of different things, you know, running rampant. And we know that our older adult population, their immune system is sometimes somewhat compromised and they're susceptible to things. Imagine if you could just call from this device and say, you know, I, I need to talk to a doctor. That's awesome. Yes. And how convenient is that for an elderly who, elderly who can no longer drive? Right. You know, so they lack transportation. And so instead of calling somebody to come pick them up or taking a taxi cab to urgent care and sit in urgent care and wait, you know, for hours or the emergency room, they can just pick up the phone and, and call and talk to a doctor. And if it's a, 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 a medical illness that the doctor can diagnose over the phone, he can call in a prescription to for antibiotics to the nearest pharmacy and you can go pick it up and you know you can get your illness taken care of within an hour from start to finish if i and i'm just curious and i'm i don't mean to put you on the spot but if i push that button how quickly am i going to get a doctor on the other end very quickly you you're going to be talking to an operator who's going to find out you know what's what's your complaint what's the situation mm -hmm. and we'll get a doctor to call you back okay and and then you can stay on the phone with the doctor and talk to the doctor on on the phone as many times as you need to it's and part of the subscription it's part of the subscription no co-payment no extra costs. It's an added ten dollars a month, and it covers up to seven people in the family. And, and, and just so everyone knows this, I, I want to really be able to paint a picture for our listening audience. So, obviously, home is the most desired place people want to be. Ninety-two percent of our aging adult population, sixty-five and older, want to age in place. And usually, the care services are the least expensive, but there are times when there is a illness or there's been an injury where you need care around the clock. And, you know, for those that can afford it, they can afford care around the clock. And that, that, that could cost up to like $200,000 a year and after tax dollars. And, you know, I, I'm using that example because it's easy for me to depict this. And if that person that is awake needs one-on-one -on -one care, as Jamie said in the very first segment, it's not intended to replace human beings. This is intended to assist in the care that is being provided. So during those awake hours, that care recipient needs some help getting dressed. That care recipient needs reminders about medication, meal preparation, maybe you know the ability to go to the doctor, companionship, all the above for what we refer to as activities for daily living. Uh, ADLs. Mm -hmm. But when they sleep, if they are sleeping at night and they can sleep restfully and, and not be up and down all the time, electronic caregiver would be a no-brainer, right? Absolutely. That, it, that, you, know, you could almost cut that in half by saying, you know what, I know money's a really big issue. Mm -hmm. um, I know that you can't afford this, but why don't we 
get a subscription to the electronic caregiver. And, and so our listening audience knows the range is from thirty nine ninety nine ninety five to fifty nine ninety five a month. That's it. Yep. Not very 10, affordable. Not ten thousand. Not a hundred thousand. But <laughs> very affordable. So it is something that you know we as care providers as well as community stewards need to know that there are these types of resources out there. We can offer an additional option to home care services because not everybody can afford 24-7 care. Right. Um, many times people can only afford four hours of care or maybe eight hours of care, and the rest of the time they're still alone. They're still a fall risk. Exactly. They still need expedited care if an emergency occurs. And and it's so affordable, thirty nine ninety five to fifty nine ninety five. When and, when when I tell them that, they're like, "Really? That's all it costs?" When they're looking at a price tag of anywhere from three to six thousand of home care services in the home, right. and this just offer that extra layer of protection. Exactly, and and that could be for a couple of weeks. That could be a month, but that is just a month. Thirty nine ninety five to fifty nine ninety five. And I, I will say this too. It also is a portal, and as Jamie said, you know she can, she can, leave a message or even call her and put a message on there saying, "Mom, I'm thinking of you. I hope you're having a, a good night. You know, or ha- hope you're having a good day." There's so many things you can do with this. Yeah, there was another functionality of the caregiver app that I have not had a chance to mention yet, and that is the part of the app where you can put their mom or dad's. Uh, or your loved one's personal health record on the app. So that should something happen, let's say for my mom, if she pushed that button and uh, and 911 is called and they're taking her to the hospital, I can actually call the hospital, talk to the secretary in the emergency room, ask for an email address, and upload that personal health record with her medication, up-to-date medication record, send it, email it, to the emergency room, they'll have her information before she even gets carted through their door. Wow. Isn't that great? Oh, yeah. So, I mean, I love that as a geriatric care manager to be able to get that information into the hands of physicians and providers that are going to be taking care of my, my clients. Well, as a clinician, you know, they really can't do anything without any information. I mean, you know, they could be pushing some kind of medication that they, the patient could be allergic to. That's right. So it's yes. really nice to be able to do that. Yeah, and if you suffer a stroke and you're not able to talk, how are you going to communicate necessary medical information to your providers. Exactly. I mean, there's so many of these things we don't even think about. So the electronic caregiver is more than this device that we've been talking about. Yes. They're they're doing some other extraordinary things. And, you know, I want to tease a little bit for our last segment, but real quickly, what what else is electronic caregiver involved in? Well, they're going to be rolling out um, what they call a pro-health system. And that is the system that is going to monitor vital signs uh, that people need to take at home. Yes, um, blood pressures, blood sugars, blood oxygen level, heart rate, body temperature, body weight. And it's Bluetooth enabled, so it's able to go up into the cloud and the vital signs can be transmitted in real-time data with important vital signs can be sent to the provider uh, care managers or family caregivers that are part of that care. And I think the optimum word that you just shared is real time. It's real time information that is being shared. I mean, that is awesome. Yes. And it's a plug and go system. Doesn't require any additional setup by the patient. Again, doesn't require internet, doesn't require, you know, extra phone line. And it's a one touch device that all. Just plug and go. Yes. And, and it, you know, it, it, it connects to the Bluetooth apparatuses that you're talking about. You know, could be a blood pressure cuff, could be a pulse ox, could be a scale, all those, all those things that you're talking about. Glucose monitor, just wild. I mean, the future is here. Yes. It yes. really is. I, I, and how far away is ProHealth from uh, launching? July. We are it's here. It's July. Yes. <laughs> it's July. All right, so we are here. Stick around. That was just a quick tease about the pro health. There's more, and there's more. And with Jamie, there's always more. She really is an innovator. She is on the cutting edge. 
Stick around for our fourth segment. You're listening to Health Futures Taking Stock, and you, Jamie Flesher from the Electronic Caregivers in the studio, will be right back. Now back to Health Futures, taking stock in you. If you have questions about your own or your loved one's future health care, call 602-264-8009. Now, here's your host, Cypress Home Care Solutions, Bob Roth. Welcome back. You're listening to Health Futures, taking stock in you. And we are on our fourth segment. If you're just tuning in, I got Jamie Flesher here in the studio. And she is with the Electronic Caregiver, and these guys are disruptors. They're innovators. They're changing the way care is being delivered, especially in the space that my family is in, and that is the caregiving space. Um, nobody, and even Jamie will tell you, nobody will ever substitute a human being. But not everybody can have human beings there caring for their loved ones 24-7. And it's nice to be able to have innovation and tech to assist us in doing that. And we've learned so much about the electronic caregiver. And it is a very affordable device that can give you, our listening audience, peace of mind, costing anywhere from thirty nine ninety five to fifty nine ninety five uh, for this package. And when we um, closed our third segment, we learned a little bit about this company having a pro health thing that they just introduced here in July. And uh, it is a standalone, um, no phone line. It's uh, an ability to plug into all these peripherals, whether it be a temperature monitor, pulse ox monitor, glucose monitor, weight scale, blood pressure cuff, you name it. And it'll take that information, push it up to the cloud, and your care provider will get that. Your caregiver, family caregiver, or paid caregiver can have that information. Um, it is real time, really cool stuff, Jamie. What I love about the Pro Health series um, is that you know we are dealing with people who have chronic conditions, uh, whether it's congestive heart failure or diabetes or COPD, and they're managing it at home. Some are really good about it, and some are not very good about it, maybe because they're forgetful. Mm-hmm. And so this. Pro Health system, along with the Premier system, works well together, and it comes together because it can remind you to take your medication. It can remind you to take your blood pressure. If you are having blood pressure issue, it can remind you to take your blood sugars if you're a diabetic uh, and, and remind you to take your insulin or medication. Wow, you know, for diabetes, absolutely. And if you're if you have um, a chronic obstructive pulmonary disease and and you're anxious, it has the pulse oximeter, which measures your blood oxygen oxygen level and heart rate. So you just put it on your finger, and it tells you what you know how you, what your oxygen level is in your blood and it just helps decrease people's anxiety especially right. when they're having difficulty breathing you know having all these these um device that measure these vital signs and then being able to um transmit it and send it real time to a provider who can intervene and and decide hey this this patient is outside their parameters we need to do something so they can change um, the care plan, and is essentially uh, help that this this patient from getting into complications or exacerbation of their disease that end up in the hospital. So it can save a lot of money to you know the healthcare by um, you know just having the information sent to the doctor. The doctor can manage your you know chronic condition. And you get better outcome. I love it. I, you know, and I want to give this right now because I haven't given it yet. Jamie Flesher, she is an RN, a geriatric care manager. You can reach her at 480-227-7591. 
And if you want any information with regard to ProHealth or the electronic caregiver, she can help you directly. Or you can go out to the website, electroniccaregiver.com, to learn more. But if you're interested in ordering it, 480-227-7591. So we're almost done. I want to give a little tease for something really cool that I got to see just two weeks ago, two and a half weeks ago. Um, Please, tee this one up for our audience, Mm -hmm. and I'm going to have to invite you back when you guys launch it. Yes, you must be talking about Addison Care. I am, Addison (laughs) Care. So you've just got a few seconds here. So take us through the exact summary of what Addison Care is. Okay, so Addison Care is the brainchild of, of course, Anthony Dorman, the CEO of Electronic Caregiver. She's a virtual caregiver system poised to dramatically reduce the cost of home health care. She's a combination of speech animation technology, artificial intelligence base, visual sensing, augmented reality. All that's to say it's very technical. Very futuristic. (laughs) And futuristic, (laughs) yes, yes. And a lot of people will say, is she a robot? And I have to say, no, she is not a robot. She's not going to come around the corner and scare you or you turn around and trip over her. No, she will appear on a screen on a tablet and can be in multiple rooms in your home. Artificial intelligence, the future Addison Care. Stick around. Jamie will be back before the end of the year, I think, to tell us about that one. I think that's on the plans for 2019, right? Yes. All right. So we are going to have to say goodbye to you, Jamie. But again, Jamie's number is 480-227-7591, electronic caregiver. Jamie, I can't thank you enough. Any last second thoughts you want to leave our listening audience about the electronic caregiver? I just think that we need to embrace technology in home health. Um, it is the wave of the future. It's going to help give people more option and more affordable care. Love it. Make it a great day. Have a great weekend. And make sure you tune in again next week, Friday, 12 o'clock, Health Futures. We'll talk to you then. There's no place like home. You've been listening to Bob Roth's Health Futures. If you have questions about your own or your loved one's future health care, Call Cypress Home Care Solutions at 602-264-8009. That's 602-264-8009. Or visit cypresshomecare.com. Be sure to join Health Futures with Bob Roth every Friday at noon, right here on Money Radio 1510 and 105.3 FM. Mm-hmm.